You know what this proves? What? Honesty is the best policy. If I hadn't admitted I was a jerk, you would never have had dinner with me. Ooh. Well, maybe the best policy would be not to be a jerk in the first place. Well, you see, that's why you're wrong. If I hadn't been a jerk, I couldn't have apologized for it. And you wouldn't have been disarmed. <laughs> you know, that just doesn't seem right somehow. <laughs> Truth is, I'm just a lucky guy. How so? To be in the most romantic place in the universe. And to meet you. Steven. Yeah, yeah, things are great. H how are you? How's, how's Dad? Is he still angry? Um, yeah, things are going well. I'm finding lots of great things. Um. Oh, the engravers? Already? Um, mm, well, you decide. You decide. Buff is fine. Yeah. Listen, you know what? Um, Steven, I really have to go because um, I'm doing it at a designer's and uh, the maid is here and she would like to change the sheets. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. See you soon. Me too. Bye. What the hell do you think you're doing? That was my fiance! How is Steven? You know what? Just because you rocked my world does not give you the right to screw up my life! He didn't know what was going on. No thanks to you! You know? What? You thought that was funny? I thought we had an incredible time together. At least I did. You know what? I'm not supposed to be having incredible nights with other men. Where are you going? Vanessa! Wait! Vanessa! Vanessa! Wait! It's just today. It's not the plans we make for ourselves and what we expect to happen. It's now. It's us. You may see the world that way, but I don't. I'm sorry I hurt you. Spend the weekend with me. so guilty. When was the last time you laughed like last night? Yeah. 
<laughs> so do you really think I could be an artist? Definitely. Well, that makes you think so. You're creative. You're smart. You have the discipline to succeed at work you don't like. You can certainly succeed at work you love. Hmm. That's what my friend Mimi says. She's the only one, though. Hey, how about me? Okay. You're the only other one. It's nice when you have people who believe in you. But you're the only person who knows what's right for you. What are you doing? Washing you. Sure, you don't want me to go with you to the train station? No. Let's say goodbye here, huh? Let's not say goodbye. When can I see you again? You can't. Why? Because I have obligations, you know that. I'm only saying we should stay in touch. This was amazing. We don't really know each other. I think I know you. And you know me? If we make more of this, we'll ruin it. Give me your number. If you call me, I want to see you, and I can't. One little bit. No. Well, you tell me about the Dorsoduro, the uh, Vaporetto, the amazing furnaces in Murano, but uh, you don't fool me. Well, I'm not trying to keep anything from you. I just didn't want you to crash the car. You met someone. You met someone? Yes! <gasps> what happened? Who is he? His name is Bill Fitzgerald, and he's a television reporter. Television reporter? Have I seen him? Is he on TV? Oh, yes, he's a television reporter. He's Irish. <gasps> the accent guy with those lips and those blue, blue eyes. <gasps> oh, my God. You have had some major activity. You have to tell me every detail. Oh, it was the most wonderful, exciting, romantic four days of my life. He was unbelievable in bed, right? Mimi! Tell me everything. Oh. Who is it? Me. Wait, 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 wait. When are you going to see Blue Eyes again? Never. What do you mean, never? Look, I have a whole life here planned with Stephen, a real life. And what I had in Italy wasn't real. I don't even know him. You could get to know him. Well, I didn't give him my number, and I didn't get his. No, 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 wait, wait. Vanessa, wait. Vanessa, what? Compare and contrast. Hey! Hey, I missed you. Yeah, I missed you. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I got tied up on that. And I, you know, you don't mind that. I just no problem. all that stuff. No problem. Huh? You know, I'm gonna leave you lovebirds alone. Hey. <laughs> Compare and contrast. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, take care, Al. Uh, See ya.
Compare and contrast. Uh, it's a problem Mimi's having. Oh. How was your flight? Uh, not bad. Listen, I picked up your suit from the dry cleaners. Oh. And I also got your accounts file over, which you left behind at the office. Taking a little vacation from collections, were you? Hmm? Huh? Combining a little pleasure with business? Oh, and I figured you were tired, so I picked up some meat crab from Chandora you love so dearly. Oh, speaking of you love so dearly, remember that townhouse in Riverdale? Well, it's for rent, and I took a peek, and uh, it's in our ballpark now. Really? Yeah, we can look at it tomorrow night. Do you ever feel trapped, you know, by all these plans? Like, everything is so set? Why should I? I am marrying the girl of my dreams. Too good for me, really. No. Smart, gorgeous, and sexy, and best of all, true blue. I mean, our careers are taken off. Everything is in line. Mm. And we can start a family. Mm. Why don't we just elope? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, honey, we can't. After nine months of wedding plans, our parents will kill us. Listen, you just probably jet lagged. Right. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come lay down on the couch and I'll fix you some of that meat crab. Our customers come to us expecting the extraordinary and they're willing to pay for it. Why are we throwing all of that out just because we're expanding? We can't talk about this if you insist on getting emotional. Emotional? It's not emotional just because I care. We can't go public until we meet our new fiscal goals. If we go public and destroy everything we stand for, then we're not being true to ourselves or the customers. We are in business Hello? to make money. That's the bottom line. There she is. Spew. Hello? Hello? Vanessa? Don't hang up, please. Okay. I know you didn't want me to call, but I tracked down your number because I had to speak to you. Certainly. Could you hold for just a moment? This is gonna be a while. I'll just take it in my office. Now, take it here. I gotta see this on the computer. Can you talk? Yes. No. This is crazy. Vanessa, listen. I'm in the Balkans. I'll be in Dublin over the weekend. I know it's asking a lot, but I have to see you. I'm sending you a plane ticket. <sighs> My life is falling apart. All I can think about is Venice. I can't fly to Dublin. I know it's insane, and you're engaged, and you're 3,000 miles away. I've said the same to myself every hour over the past three days. Until I found myself sitting here with your phone number in my hand. And now I've gotten up the courage to call you and ask you to do this crazy thing. And of course you'll probably say no. But please, please, Vanessa, don't say no. I can't come see you. When you said goodbye, you said nothing like this had ever happened to you before. How can you say no? I'm due in an hour before you. If I get delayed, there's a key under the mat. Come to Dublin. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Is this beautiful? Yeah, I thought so too when I ran into the delivery boy on the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Fun. Hey, who are they from? <clears throat> They're from Mimi. So you might have went online with a little pipe plane drifter, especially after the day you had. Why is Mimi sending you flowers? Her sister, the one in, the one in Miami, um, is really ill, and I, I told Mimi that I'd go with her over the weekend, so I guess she's grateful. It's terrible. It's cancer? Yes. No. Well, I don't think they really know a uh, female thing. Mm. When are you leaving? Tonight. Uh, actually, a uh, couple hours. But honey, you just got here. I know. It's just that her sister's having an operation first thing in the morning, and I, well, Mimi's a wreck. All right. 
see him through the All right. Okay. Uh, travel safe. Thanks. Talk uh, to you later. All right. <laughs> Say have a good time, but, you know, probably a bad thing on circumstances. Try it out. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Bye. 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 <laughs> for two hours. I'm sorry. How's your flight? Fine. Except for the part where I wanted to get off midair because this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Don't think you can blame the airline for that. That's my wife and our daughter, Helena. Must have been horrible to lose her. It was. How'd you cope? I'm not religious, but my wife had a strong belief in God. She told me that after she was gone, she'd be in heaven. Because heaven is other people holding you in their hearts. Now I believe that's true. All the way here, I was afraid. I thought you'd changed your mind at the last moment. I almost did a dozen times. But every time I tried to turn around, I just I couldn't. Lie to him? Yes. Why are you with him? Ironically, because I can trust him. Sounds like the ones with someone whom you couldn't. When I was 12, my father almost left my mother for another woman. That must have been rough. Mm. I hated my father for lying. I guess I decided right then and there that I would never depend on a man for anything. Are they still together? Yeah. My mother says they're trying to make it work. She just trust him. I think that's why she went back into the business. She'd stayed home, you know, to be a mom. But the minute that affair happened, she was back at the office every day. I don't want that to be me. I have to go. 
go to the country to meet my daughter tomorrow. I might be rushing things, but I want you to come. To meet your mother? And my daughter. We are friends, aren't we? Sheena's having a birthday party, and she's inviting me. But she's not inviting Becca, because they had a big fight. What was the fight about? Becca told Barry O'Brien that Sheena likes them. Sheena punched Becca in the loo. <laughs> well, I don't remember antics like that when you were away at school. Oh, did you leave out those bits in your letters home? You went to boarding school? In England. Don't blame my parents. I made up my own mind when I was nine years old. The beginning of my wanderlust, I suppose. Mm, nine. We were very impressed with his independence. I got an excellent classical education and a healthy resentment of authority. <laughs> when Bill's father died, we could no longer afford boarding school. That was the excuse. I've always suspected Mother wanted my company. And would I need an excuse to have my own son here at home with me? I had to find some way to put food on the table. Granny is a great painter. Vanessa's an artist. Are you? Well, I sculpt, and um, I studied art in college, but now I'm a buyer for my family store. Do you want to see the report I did for school? It has lots of drawings. Oh, yes, I'd love to. After dessert. That's such a pretty ring. Is it diamonds? Uh, yes, actually, it is. Lovely. Thank you. Will we have some dessert? I'm going to get my report. <laughs> we have absolutely not. Bill and I will do the kitchen duties. You're a guest, my dear. How long have you known this Vanessa person? This Vanessa person? You make it sound like she's one of the long line of Vanessa persons. I've known her long enough. Long enough to introduce her to Helena. Mother, how many women friends have I brought back to meet Helena? None. The defense rests. <laughs> 